click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about that is how we can prepare ethers from alcohol and now in this topic we are going to talk about how we can prepare ether from alkyl halide. So now let's get started. So friends, in this topic we are going to talk about that is how we can convert an alkyl halide to ether. So in this case, for that I am representing the general formula for this one that is, suppose if we have considered an alkyl halide that could be represented by Rx but the reaction should be with that is sodium alkoxide so that's the reason i'm using that is r dash ona and then also the reaction proceeds with a particular temperature so therefore the product that we could get it will be ether but let us understand that what would be the byproduct so in this case this sodium along with that of this halogen atom this will be removed in the form of that is nax but the rest of the thing that is what we have is nothing but r dash o r so this is nothing but ether. So in this method basically we can prepare a simple ether also as well as we can prepare a mixed ether also because the reason behind that is because this alkyl group and this alkyl group can be same also or can be different also. So depending on that let me explain this with the help of an example. Suppose if we are considering that is methyl iodide. So in this case suppose if the methyl iodide is treated with that is CH3 ONA that is known as sodium methoxide. So in this case the product that we could get as a byproduct, let me talk about that first. That is, Na, it will be moved along with that of the iodine atom. So, therefore, it would be nothing but Na, it would be the byproduct. But the main product that we could obtain here is nothing but CH3O, CH3. So, this is how we can obtain a simple ether, and this is nothing but methoxy methane. So, the conversion of an alkyl halide in presence of that is sodium ethoxide or sodium alkoxide, so as to obtain an ether, this kind of process is basically known as Williamson synthesis. So this was nothing but an example related to the Williamson synthesis and now let me talk about the another example. So this was nothing but a preparation of simple ether but what if we have to prepare a mixed ether. So in that case we consider this sodium alkoxide that should consist of a parent chain or that should consist of a higher number of carbon. Suppose if we have to prepare mixed ether. So in that case this alkyl halide that is what we should take that should consist of lower member of carbon while the other one that is the sodium alkoxide that should consist of higher number of carbon and then only the mixed ether can be prepared. So that is the thing that we have to be very careful of. So in this case suppose if I am considering that is CH3I and suppose if I am reacting it with CH3, C, CH3 and this is nothing but ONA. So now, in this case, the byproduct it will be nothing but NaI. But the main product that we could get is nothing but CH3, C, CH3. Here it will be CH3, and this will be O, CH3. So this is how basically we can prepare a mixed ether. But let me name this product that is what we have got over here. So therefore, if you talk about the name of this one, then obviously we understand that this is the straight chain. And on the second carbon, basically the methoxy group is basically attached. And on the second group, or on the second carbon atom, there is a methyl group. So that's the reason the name of this one could be given as that is 2 methoxy, 2 methyl propane. So this is how we can prepare that is mixed ether. So therefore, there is an advantage as well as disadvantage of this method also that is if we have to prepare a simple ether it is a very simple process but suppose if we have to prepare a mixed ether then we should consider that is the sodium alkoxide that should consist of higher number of carbon atom while the alkyl halide that should consist of lower number of carbon atom and that is how basically we can prepare a mixed ether so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this reaction very clearly and i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much